Uh, hey guys, so we just finished up uh, maidening the wiffle ball bat plane and uh, came down to the cliff and the wind has quite the high ceiling today. As you can see, that tiny dot out there is a five foot flying wing. This is a tough launch, but not too bad this time. Yeah, so the only reason I came back to film this, normally I wouldn't, not because the combat's going to be good, but because the high-speed passes are so far absolutely amazing. Okay, here comes Pat on his five-footer. Coming down. Oh, big buffet. <laughs> Did, yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to try to get some really good from altitude passes here. I had one just before I ran to get the camera when I realized the lift was so good. I had one that was probably two inches from the ground and it was moving, I mean, pretty close, probably 80, maybe more. I don't know. These things get real fast on their, on their downwind drops. So right now I'm kind of cruising it back and forth, pulling back on the stick, trying to trying to gain altitude without without flaring it backwards too much. Then once I'm at my peak, I basically pull the elevator back and try to fly it completely backwards until I'm as close to the cliff as I can be and drop it in almost almost vertical. Go for a high speed. What's going on here? Alright. This is pretty high. Try to milk it back a little bit. It's on the one on the left there, the little guy. Okay, turning it. <laughs> My goodness. If anyone was standing there, they would be just decimated. Whew. I love this type of flying. It's like going in a pylon race with no motor. And you only get a few passes. Man, but there. So much value, so much fun for value combat wings. I swear, if you've got a cliff around you that that uh, faces the wind, you have lift, and you should be trying it. Here comes Pat's pass. Good. Oh, I got my plane for a bit there. It's really tricky to look at your plane and fly mine at the same time. Okay, I got some pretty good altitude here, but I'm too far out. here. Alright, turning in. Oh goodness. That is sweet. <laughs> High speed touch and go? Okay. Alright, Pat said it. You're going to watch me destroy my plane now. This thing would probably survive it if it's a touch and not a slam. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. If I'm gonna try a touching go, I'm not gonna go quite as high. Okay, coming around. Heart's pumping. Oh so close! Almost got the tip as I pulled out and to the left. Yeah, we often do uh touch and goes out here. Normally on lighter days though. Fast days are pretty scary when you get in this close. Go for it again, coming from the back. Whew. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> I did not want to touch you at that point. That would have been a really difficult recovery right there. Try to milk some altitude in a little closer. Yeah, the wind's actually really funny because it's real shifty right now. So it should be a pretty good lift because you can see. Yeah, it's super south now. It's almost straight south, um, which is fantastic. But there were a few minutes there where it was pushing almost straight west, maybe even bumping into the north. 
which is uh, generally pretty bad. You can still fly it, but it gets real turbulent. Okay. Come in. Holy balls! Oh, there's my wingtip. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Pat, I think you have a problem. Shit! <laughs> that freaked me out. You couldn't control that, could you? <laughs> Stick it back on. Well, Pat got the touch and go before I did. Darn. Then again, he hurt his plane. Yay. Got it. Yep. Whee! All right, I'm gonna milk for uh, one or two more passes and let you guys go. Oh yeah, so um, I'm thinking about some more projects and I wanna get a little further away from the norm I got three things in mind. Uh, one of which would be a giant electric powered fan backpack for roller, uh, like a uh, uh, skateboard, roller skates, razors, just just like a propulsion backpack that's lined up with like six cells. But um, I think that'd be fun, and I'd do it mostly out of composites, it'd mostly be carbon. Uh, possibly a little bit of uh, machined aluminum and maybe welded aluminum. But um, yeah, I'm thinking something like 50 cc equivalent electric out to two side fans that are kind of out behind your elbows, shrouded, uh, just to keep fresh air. You going for a pass already? Down? Yeah, probably. You get that you get that ground effect that tries to keep you off, and then once you break the ground effect, it tries to suck you down. Pelicans! Oh, they avoid these things like the plague. They absolutely hate planes. They they veered off course just because they saw us flying around here. It probably reminds them of like big predatory birds, even though a pelican's too big for really anything to eat. Maybe a condors would go after them? I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, back to the projects. I want to do a big fan backpack. I don't know, it'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. Hop on like a razor, look like a total dork, but with a throttle doing 30 miles an hour. I just think it'd be great. And it'd give me an excuse to shape out some uh, some foam core and, and make some carbon shrouds and big plates and stuff for a backpack, which would be fun to do. Uh, next is that collective pitch quad, which I think could just be like the next evolution of multi-rotors. But, um, oh, you're turning in? Hold on. <laughs> What's flapping? <laughs> ah. Yeah, so I'd like to get started on that. That's going to be a big project, though. A big, big project. And, um, other than that, I, it would be controversial, but, controversial, but I'm, uh, interested in putting an airsoft gun on a multi-rotor and doing a two-person pilot, co-pilot. Pilot flies, co-pilot has, uh, head tracking unit, which controls the pan and tilt of the gun and the fire button. So you can hover over things and the co-pilot looks around and pulls the trigger. Which, obviously, you know, you don't want shit like that with a real gun. But, uh, I want it with an airsoft gun, because it would be awesome. So, I may do that. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you have any specific ideas for projects, because... I'm all about it. Okay, I'm gonna milk altitude for one more pass, and then, uh, oh, it's here.
stretching? There's no way. My, I mean, mine's smaller in general, but they're pretty close though. I might be a little further out. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling back here. You wanna try to time it? Okay, I'm pulling back so I can do it further. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, turn in. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome! Uh, I hear something flapping around. Oh my god, I can't believe that survived that. It got so messed up when it went back up in the air. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up and uh, ask me a question if you want to. See ya! Bye.